Beloved friends, we greet you in love. We want to talk about establishing certain kinds of momentum in your life and how it serves you. And we want to talk about a super simple approach to achieving the experience of abundance that you feel like you want now, you want to come about, to be your experience. We say to you, what if you started to think to yourself, the time is here now for me to experience my life in a new way. It's happening. It's happening now. That would be a beneficial seed to plant. You can make that real. Then you can let that come about because you can make anything real and let anything come about that you activate and energize with your attention. We like the idea, and we often suggest to you that you create like a break, that you interrupt patterns, that you create what you could think of as an insertion point in which you start a new story. Deliberately. You choose and decide to take things in a new direction on purpose with how you use your thoughts. You can do this with thoughts that are possibility based like, oh, I feel it. The time is here for me. I'm starting to experience my life in new ways. You can put your attention on things like that, and with your focus, make them real. You are hearing from us repeatedly that you do indeed make real what you treat as important. What you make real then feels natural. It starts to be what you expect. Because it's where you invest your energy, you create momentum around it. So we can tell you that abundance is natural and it's who you truly are, but if you practice something different, you can make something else real. And that's all that's happened when you're experiencing less money, less abundance in any way, than what you'd like. We want you to really realize if you're not yet experiencing what you want to experience, that's all that's happened. If you've practiced something else, and all of you have to one degree or another, around money, around abundance, just know, oh, that's what happened. I'm powerful, and I practiced something else. So I limited myself. I made that limitation, real. And I can change that. Then you could continue by saying, and in fact, I am changing that because I think the time is now for me to experience my life especially as it relates to money and abundance in a new way. And I'm putting my attention on that. And I'm making that real. See how this works? Today we want to talk about where your abundance is because it's almost right in front of you, and yet you don't all really see it. Your abundance lies in your energy flow. You might think we're saying to you, your money comes to you through your energy flow. And we are saying this, but there's something else we're saying which is much bigger than this and in which your money lies. Let us explain, and we'll do our best to conjure this up for you. We know when you get this, it's going to thrill you. Your abundance lies in your energy flow. Your abundance lies in your endless capacity to invest attention in whatever you choose. And therefore, make real and generate more of that which you pay attention to. So you could think of yourself as an investor. You could even call yourself an angel investor. Smile that might be fun for some of you who resonate with this. Or a cosmic investor. You could think of yourself as a person who's an investor because you are, dear ones, endlessly, in a sense, funding things, making more of things, supporting things, making things continue, expand, grow. You are endlessly repeatedly making more of things in your world with your attention by flowing your energy into them. So your abundance and the most powerful and pure understanding of your infinite capacity, lies in your ability to choose that which you give attention to, what you will invest in, further, make more of. Your abundance lies in your infinite capacity to focus and flow energy. The endless, eternal flow of your consciousness upon that which you pay attention to, that is the source of your abundance. So you can choose to focus in such a way that you express that abundance in money by paying attention to that which feels to you to be plenty of money, more than enough money, every kind of money that you need whenever you need it. And if you can feel those things purely and clearly without mixed energy, that can help you experience more money in your lives. But for many of you, that choice won't work because, right now, because of how you've been living before and because of what is, and your tendency to pay attention to what is, your money view is mixed energetically. When you think about money, you feel mixed feelings. So then you might wonder and feel frustrated by this and say, 
how the heck do I get there? How do I get into an abundant frequency so I can receive more abundance when it's so hard to get out of the momentum I've already got going? And today, we're going to tell you how. And the answer is this, by focusing on any topic, any area of your life about which you have pure joy, pure happiness, pure capacity to feel good, and making that your momentum. When you do that, you allow everything in your life to shift into resonance with that. Everything that you're not activating can shift and change and in a sense, join you there. So you see, when you are feeling good, you're allowing. You're receptive. And when you've asked for more money, which you have, to receive it, you simply have to allow it. And when you feel good, you allow good. And when you feel easy, you allow ease. And when you feel free, you allow freedom. So when your practiced vibration is one that feels really good to you, you allow. And if you want to be in a state of allowing more abundance and money for you, or if you want the freedom to live how you want, and if all of this feels mixed up with debt and bills and the way it's been and how it is. If it's a mix, so it feels hard and complicated and messed up by lots of split energy, and if you've been trying really hard for a long time around this, and paying a lot of attention to it, it's going to work much more easily for you if you take your attention off that and put your attention on some part of life about which you have zero resistance. Zero resistance. And you've all got these things in your life. You can take the simplest things in life, a beautiful tree in your backyard, a wonderful pet who you adore, a perfect piece of music that you love how it feels when you listen to it, a favorite spot in your house and a favorite way of being in that spot, these things alone can be your vehicle to everything. Isn't that amazing? Anything can be your way to everything if when you're in the experience of it, investing attention in it, you feel pure happiness, pure joy, pure ease. Isn't that splendid? So the easiest, most natural way for most people to discover the truth of the abundance and the reliable way in which it's coming to you because you've asked for it, so it's coming, is to get your vibration where you want it to be, however you can get it there and stay there however you can stay there. Even if this means thinking pretty much only about one or two subjects and taking your attention off everything else, we say do it. We say do it boldly. Do it with a sense of adventure, do it with a sense of curiosity. Take us at our word and stay off the subjects that you think need your attention. Stay off the subjects that feel like you need to fix them. Stay off the topics that disturb you and diminish your alignment. Stay focused on and invest your attention and energy in any subject about which you have no resistance, and the more mundane and simple it is, the better it works because, the more easily you're going to feel pure happiness pure ease, pure joy, pure delight. So find the ways of being focused on the subjects, conditional or unconditional, that get you there. And then stay there. Enhance it. Grow it. Savor it. Return to it. In effect, learn how to make your chronic vibration one of feeling good any way you can. And what will happen when you do this is that everything else in your life will join you in this chronic vibration of allowing, of joy. That's the way to get everything to elevate and spin out into expansive, radiant abundance before you in the manifest experience, by placing your focus, investing in the things that are purely wonderful for you. We are complete.